um, I also feel like I have a frog throat, but um, I can certainly thank the Lord for saving me. And um, I started hearing about the word when I was 18. Um, I got saved when I was 19, and I decided to follow the Lord when I was 20. So in that two years, it was a fair bit to unpack as to how I ultimately came to that decision that I really wanted to put two feet in and follow the Lord. So I won't do that now. That's kind of a general fellowship thing. But um, yeah, I, I had a lot of kind of, um, I had a really kind of sad upbringing. Um, my mom was um, severely bipolar and she just couldn't look after me. So she gave me to my dad when I was 10. Um, she did, she did look after me and do her best. Um, uh, that she could, but in the end, she gave me to my dad uh, when I was 10, and within a year and a half to two years of that, my dad couldn't deal with me anymore, so he signed his guardianship over to social services, so from that point on, I was like a system kid, and um, I just did this like, from 12 to 18, I was in a constant repeat pattern of getting placed into care something like a group home or a foster home or like some treatment facility I would always run away from those because I hated them I would get arrested I would do some time in juvie and then I'd get replaced and that was just a constant repeat pattern just over and over um so when I was 14 um I started doing like drugs and alcohol and stuff when I was really little like 11 but 14 was when I really got into heart drugs, and then I really developed a really bad drug addiction um, uh, that, you know, nearly took my life a few times. Um, and I guess, you know, one thing that, you know, I, I look back and I can see the Lord's hand in all of that in in ways that he really kept me till the time that I had, had to, that I was, you know, that I heard the word. Um but when I was 16, I fell pregnant with my first child. Um, and I was so lucky because I was using at that time pretty heavily. And um, I actually got arrested, found out that I was pregnant, very newly pregnant, and um, didn't get out till I was almost eight months pregnant. So um, I was able to stay clean for that pregnancy. And I was able to keep my baby as long as I, I had to fight to keep her, um, which I did. But I was able to keep her if I, you know, was compliant to certain rules as far as like drug testing and stuff like that. So that really changed my outlook on life, becoming a mother, even though I was so young. Um, I actually started praying around that time, about 18, because, you know, I was in a lot of dangerous situations a lot of times. And so I used to now have this, like this little baby this little person that you know I was responsible for and um, I would pray that God would keep her safe and keep her warm um, amidst all this kind of chaos that I was living um, I heard the word because I had I don't know that's kind of a long story maybe I'll save that but um, I heard the word ultimately started coming to the Lord when I was 20 put two feet in and started following the Lord. And um, when I made that choice um, to follow the Lord two feet in, that is when my life changed. I had a period of time when I was like one foot in, one foot out. I was kind of like trying to work it out. And it was very difficult to do that, to to live with like one foot in the world and one foot in the in the Lord. I was convicted by the things that I really felt in my heart were true. But I was like very young and I lived a very, very unchristian life. So to me, my mind couldn't work out like how to be a Christian. You know, it, it, you know, I didn't understand that it wasn't about that. It was about like seeking the Lord and really letting the spirit lead. Um, so that was kind of a struggle for me in the beginning. But when I decided to follow the, the Lord wholeheartedly, that's when everything changed in my life. Um, you know, and I've had a really, really fantastic life in the Lord, a very, very blessed life. Um, one overcoming that um, 
was early on that it took me quite a number of years to recognize it but my pattern of behavior before you know getting saved was um like when i was 14 i was diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder i was heavily medicated for that and so my pattern was the running i i just would feel very unsettled and i'd feel like anxious in any like group home or whatever i was in and i just couldn't be there and i would leave i would run it was very impulsive and when i got saved um like even after i was married i would have these like severe urges to just like pack my stuff and leave like my kids like just pack the car and leave and i i really kind of suffered in silence with that for a little while because it would make me really anxious because now I feel trapped because I had the feeling like I can't leave, like I've got a family, I've got like the assembly. And so I had a number of years where I was just like really feeling like anxious at that feeling of being like fenced in and trapped. And I remember like confiding in someone when I was kind of just like off the cuff joking and I was like, yeah, I just want to like pack the bags and leave. Like, I just got to get out of here. And I remember them saying like, well, where would you go? And just the thought of that, I was like, well, yeah, I mean, nowhere, I guess. <laughs> I don't know where I'd go. Uh, but I remember that sort of being like a, I don't know, it was like a a moment where I was like, yeah, there's really like, there's nowhere to go. This is where I need to go. This is what I need to do. And it came down to just persevering in prayer. And I didn't actually realize that I was doing that at the time, but it was just a matter of like, okay, Lord, I'm just sticking with you. Like, I guess, like, I'm just going to stick with you. And um, it just, over time, it just, it just washed away. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't like an instant thing. It wasn't something that was just like very severe. Like one day I was just like panicking and I got to get out of there. And then the next day I didn't, it just was a very gentle, like removing that. And the Lord taught me like how to be faithful in my relationships, right? Because when you're impulsive and you have tendencies to run, you can't say like, yeah, I'll be there for sure at this time because I don't know, maybe I will, maybe I won't. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so it was really grounding for me at that like young age because I was, I was very young. I had a young family um, and I had a whole history of just really unhealthy behavior pattern, patterns. Um, so that was like, such a blessing to me and the Lord taught me how to be like like a wife and a a mother and um you know just just even being a mother you know like teaching me to like stick it out and and just be there when it's rough because that would be sort of the time that I'd want to go not with my kids but like if it was rough I'd want to leave and um I think you know in the early years of my salvation um the Lord provided like it I had like healings and blessings and provisions but I and I've had like trials uh but I would say the majority of my real trials have been my own mind um and just maybe like trying to think my way out of something that's difficult instead of just handing it over to the Lord. And I was just thinking recently, like with the kids, you know, I've always just been like, you know, you're teenagers, you can have a lot of feelings about a lot of things. And that is true, right? Your mind just kind of does its thing. And I've always just allowed the kids to just like, just tell me everything you feel, all the things you're feeling and then let's talk about what's next right let's how do we move forward from from what you feel and it's to just take hold of the lord and let the lord do it and he really does sort everything out if you just you know even as adults we just take it to the lord in prayer we lay it all out before the lord and the lord just slowly just gently 
makes it okay and works it all out for us. And it's not, doesn't have to be like drastic or just, you know, with, with that thing that I was feeling before, just so instantaneous, although it does happen, you know, and I've, I've had experience of that, but just to just gently guide us in the ways that we should go, um, you know, and I'm just thankful for everything the Lord's done in my life and all the things that, um, you know, he teaches and guides still always as I just like keep both feet in with the Lord. He just continues to just work on my heart and keep it soft towards him and soft towards like the saints. And, um, I just thank the Lord for that. Amen. Amen.